Was it Mark? Mark, did you get CDs from? No, no? it was. Um, yeah. It wasn't one of the hosts. He had like no. Nope, he had like a like a short beard, stocky. Was it me? No. Short beard, <laughs> stocky. <laughs> no, and I, I actually thought I thought too. I'm like, watch this guy not work for the show. Yeah, he right. just leaves. This guy's the, the third row. I'm a little chilly in here. I think I might have to do some jumping jacks. Or I knew something. it was gonna Joey Vera. Uh, okay, John Bush, Jamie Josta, the Jostafarian. But it's a full sleeve of CDs, right? It's, it's, it's like, like a it's like a thirty lot box. Right. We're um, fine. You are backstage at that metal show. The charge that I got that we both did from doing a junior high talent show in front of the school, playing some really bad versions of rock and roll, it feels like the first time, but still the crowd went nuts. <laughs> and sure, it sounded horrible, but we, we went over well, and so I'd say that. That first kick of fame there. Kiss Alive 1 probably made me want to be a performer, in all honesty. The first like big concert I ever attended was U2 at the New Haven Coliseum, which is no longer there. The first concert I ever attended, you are going to laugh. The Monkees. Music to me is everything. It's been my life uh, since I was five years old. Piano, guitar, drums, everything. I'd say it's everything, you know. I mean, it's, it's more important to me than religion would ever be. And, um, you know, it's touched my emotions in all various forms uh, constantly. I played 58 countries. I, I played in the jungles of Borneo. I played in the Philippines. I played all every state in the United States. I don't change one note that I play here in the U.S. versus where I play in China or anywhere else. But music transcends politics. It transcends a lot of things. And that's what music means to me, everything. It's got to have loud guitars, of course. Definitely having a unique front man with a one-of-a-kind voice, I think, really makes a band metal. Some killer drumming, maybe some double bass drumming would be a classic metal song. And also, the Gibson-Marshall combination. I feel like you can't go wrong with Gibson and Marshall. I know a lot of modern bands use um, solid-state amps and stuff, but there's nothing like that Gibson-Marshall crunch, that combination. It's an attitude, I guess. Uh... A, a kind of a fu attitude. It's an approach, and it's a, it's not only just the music, but it's, it becomes a way of life. I mean, I live it every day. That's metal. If you wanted to buy one album that sums me up, this is it. We have over 20 guest stars. We, you know, everybody from Rudy Sarzo and George Lynch. Uh, we've got Todd Latore, Queens Reich singer, uh, and he absolutely nailed it. He's such a great vocalist. He's a really cool guy. And the list goes on and on. Chris Poland from Megadeth. We've got Michael Romeo from Symphony X. Uh, Mark Tremonti from Creed and Alter Bridge. And just some of my really good friends bringing their A game to the album. I think it was a serious offer. It was pre kill em all so we're talking about like 1983 or 82 at the end of the year um so i think there was a legitimate offer um it just was at the time armored saint was really developing into a popular band in los angeles obviously metallica had a big reputation as well on the underground scene, but they hadn't even made a record yet. So most of their fame and popularity was from their demos, No Life Tell Leather, whatever. I'm up to 70 episodes now. I'm hoping to do another uh, 30 coming up and then I'll see how it goes, but it's been great. I've been able to talk to Ice-T. I've, I've talked to even people that aren't in music, uh, comedians and, and wrestlers, you know, I had Mick Foley and Chris Jericho and I've had MMA guys like Tito Ortiz on the show and so I, I'm trying not to do all music but uh, I figure that entertainment, the entertainment business as a whole, there's a lot of parallels there and you could learn a lot from people who have been through it and you know Duff McKagan is one of my most successful episodes and he talked a lot about accounting and publishing and and auditing the record label and I had so many musicians tell me wow I never even thought of doing that or I never even thought of it like that and so that makes me feel good that people are listening and maybe would want to you know help their career by hearing someone else had the guts to do it you know Last question, uh, current favorite TV show? That metal show. And I'm not just saying that. I like seeing the guests and, you know, stump the trunk, you know? <laughs>